Hello everyone, welcome to our FAQ GRE video series. In this video, we're going to talk about one of the most frequently asked questions by our students. Do we get to use calculator in GRE exam? So we thought we will explain the answer to this question with the help of the official website of GRE, which is hosted by ETS. So they're clearly writing this that in the quantitative reasoning section, you are allowed to use a calculator. But let me show you how it looks like because let's get a lot of clarifications done on this. It's a simple calculator that you'll be seeing, which will be able to do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, as well as finding square roots. That's it. You cannot do beyond it. And let's say by chance you want to do a simple calculation like 40 plus 42, you got to type four and zero, then press plus, I click on plus, and then type four and two, then click on equals. So basically you have to click on six, uh, you know, digits or rather action uh, keys to get the outcome, which is much, much more complicated than using 40 plus 42, doing it in your brain and saying that it is equal to 82. So what even the ETS recommends, right? Uh, just because you have calculator, it does not solve your problem solving issues. That is, you are the one who needs to solve the problems. Number two, most of the questions do not require difficult computations. So just don't use calculator just because it's available. They are recommending you to avoid using it for simple computations like you know 10 minus 490, 4 into 70, all of those things. If you have a very complicated calculation, like let's say 23 into 28, yes, there's a merit in using it. Maybe much more than the square root of 289 if you're not someone who remembers it as 17, there's a merit to it. So please try to maintain a balance between the difficulty or rather, you know, uh, the usage basically. Do not abuse it. Otherwise, also don't underuse it so that you do your calculations in a very detailed manner in the paper or rough sheet and you're wasting a lot of your time. So there is a merit in using it, but use it to its best capacity so that you optimize your preparation, get a good outcome out of that.